ओके फोक्स वेलकम बैक टू गेम टू माई नेम इज विवेक और सम ऑफ यू माइट नो मी एज वी वेक येस आई बॉट मेनी मेनी ऑब्जर्व अवार्ड्स फॉर यू गाइज टू जस्ट सिट एंड फार्म एंड वी हैव हेवन ब्लॉकर्स नाउ ऑन द डायर एंड वी हैव टीम टी ए थिंक अगेन ऑन द रेडियंट वंस अगेन वेरी वेरी स्टैंडर्ड बैंड द गोइंग विद द टिपिकल एक्सपेक्टेड बैंड ऑलमोस्ट मेमिक इन लास्ट गेम्स बैंड I don't know. I want to see an alchemist because alchemist is seriously, seriously buffed up. With me is my co-caster Robin, also goes by the name Punjab Police, and both of us will be bringing you this game. And God, our throats hurting. A big, big, uh, amazing shout out to Shitaj for having to shoutcast two games all by himself. Man, I don't know how he did it. I can't. Robin. Hello everyone after a very beautiful game uh, we've just seen HBC doing wonders uh, with the Nantai mage and a very beautiful support from Death Prophet in the last game the round 2 has just begun and we've seen we are seeing two uh, bans there right there Lycan is being banned again by heaven blockers and do you see that and Rubik and the invoker as intended 10 seconds remaining yeah Lycan gets banned uh uh lycan gets banned so far well i i once again they really haven't read the change log as of yet i don't see why lycan needs to be banned i'm not explaining that all over again but okay they have a fear of lycan whatever uh as you can see they're pretty old school in the carry pick so that's why they're afraid of lycan is what i'm guessing uh for those of you who don't know for those of you who are watching us online we are here at this wonderful tournament in goa that's organized by lord nord and uh, this will be up on his channel you can check him out at lord nord productions twitch.tv/lordnord and once again they go with their first pick anti mage they really love anti mage this is the strategy is it pick up anti mage and just sit and farm with anti mage <laughs> it's going to be the same game man again see the the lanai lanai goes back again you see that there's yeah. definitely the same thing happening again L Let's track coming in again. Um, this time, this time, uh, it's, it's a switch here. They think again has decided to take the lash rack. It's, 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 maybe we should doing some good stunts there. The dark seer joins the team as well. Oh, this time we some difference in picks here. Maybe some different strategies. But I think again, they might have understood some, you know, some tactics from heavens, uh, heaven, heaven blockers. So probably they'll think up some new strategies against them, you know, which will actually take them away. Yeah, let's. Well, I don't know. I mean, um, maybe I might be very wrong and naive in saying this, but honestly, Bane Elemental is one of the best support heroes in the in a who can really counter Mage. You know, Mage blinks into battle, just sleep him. They had Shadow Demon last game, who well, fairly well counters Mage, but uh, wasn't very well utilized. And if I was Team TA's captain, that is Rasin Gen, I really wouldn't pick Shadow Demon for that guy again. I'd probably be hitting him on his head to pack. <laughs> but yeah, well, this is how it is, and. Uh, <laughs> are they going for the same picks is is that it <laughs> i sure hope some black holes this time man that's what all i can say definitely going to be the same picks and i don't know uh, let's just see but we also like to thank uh, lord nord productions for letting us cast in this channel we make yeah. it's it's great amazing support that we have from lord nord <laughs> all the people are enjoying the matches right here and uh, it's it's amazing experience really thank you lord nord for having us all the way out here in goa and uh, letting giving me this rare opportunity of casting on your channel thanks a big thanks for this wonderful tournament and tide hunter okay well this time they picked up the tide hunter i believe tide hunter was the first pick on think again last game yes. and uh, we did see some good ravages we did some see, uh, we did see some late ravages as well <laughs> uh, but um, i'm i'm sure uh, when thinking about the strategies you know the strategy strategic point of view from heaven blockers uh, we're going to see some precise stunning at this time mm -hmm. so once again like you mentioned last game uh, well we don't believe in a concept of counter picking we just pick what we like and a lot of what we like is nice big aoe and one buddhu farming hero we have the buddhu farming hero in anti mage we have the nice big game <laughs> big 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 aoe in enigma and tide hunter and uh, I I don't know if you guys have read the patch I'm just going to keep talking about it we will have an analysis later afterwards hopefully we will where uh, well darkseer has been nerfed a bit 
his vacuum mana cost has gone up the cooldown has gone down basically vacuum is made more or less useless his move speed has been reduced but he's still a very viable offlane hero and uh, ta follows up with a juggernaut a refreshing pick i don't know are they going to play him as a pusher or a pure carry let's see heaven blockers ban naga i, I don't know naga is something that could fit into their strat if they want the dirty dirty aoe but uh, they don't want it uh, ta goes well with a respect ban i don't know May, well I, yeah ta has finally woken up to the fact that they're just going to copy the large game bans and they just ban out dead profit <laughs> yeah, that's totally true but you know i've been uh, i've been forced to think vivek and um, uh, it doesn't really matter you know what kind of uh, buffs or nerfs you are encountering on heroes you know maybe it's just the idea of who's controlling them and you know, what way you're playing with them you know it doesn't really matter the, the kind of opportunity you see the kind of uh, you know uh, uh, the, the right kind of uh, positioning you have the right kind of positioning you know th that's what exactly um, and it makes the difference of you know where people playing you know that that really changes the outcome of the ideas yes positioning is key with darks here uh, and enigma and most of these heroes let's see uh, meanwhile we have a deviant knight being banned out by heaven blockers yeah so well they're just banning heroes they're scared of like i said they pick what they like they ban what they're scared of think again once again thinking again too much maybe now they're like oh shit they have a new strat they banned out dk what do we do now i don't know is that what's going on in their heads or or they're just trying to remember what heaven blockers picked last game <laughs> and they're trying to just ban that uh muffling being banned once again muffling very nerfed base damage has been reduced by 6 that's a lot yes his base damage has been reduced by 6 so start game you really need to morph all your strength into agility to manage whatever last hits you can no, right. or well i don't know i i i don't once again like like and i'm not seeing the point in banning out morphling i don't even see how even blockers could fit a morph into that lineup but yeah i i i expect anything out of heaven blockers now what do you think are they going to run darks here off lane or do you think they'll put him in the jungle because they lacked uh, the jungle and the economy that the jungle gives you the clear free farm that the jungle gives you and the exp that one hero gets at no price at all what do you think uh, i think they're going to run it off lane and uh, that's probably the idea of dark seer right now but it's definitely going to be related on the, the the two more picks they're going to have you know if they're going to go for some jungler you know uh because uh, i don't really understand how they're going to use leshrac if, if if that's the pick for the jungle then definitely this go the darkse goes for the off lane mm -hmm. but i'm just still looking at what the other two picks going to be the queen of pain and the furin has been banned as well so uh, still two picks yeah i i really don't get why both teams are ignoring furin on such a powerful pick i mean i don't know has he been nerfed even more uh, from what i know his the magical resistance yeah. of his trees has been cut down a bit and a potm pick we all like potm we all loved her a lot in dota and some of us loved her for reasons beyond dota but again potm mage i don't see how this lineup works in any sense i don't know if you figured it out just come running into the casting room and telling me why why how does any of this work because i don't know maybe i i am in i am not pro enough i don't know robin any guesses <laughs> dude this is totally this is totally amazing a bottom with an anti mage tide and enigma this is definitely no no heavens uh, heaven blockers are definitely blowing my mind off man they are definitely blowing my mind off and i'm really expecting them to do really nasty things in this game man seriously <laughs> Yeah anyways I I enjoy these unconventional picks and I enjoy them even more when you make them work uh, I really don't know how they're working at the moment uh, let's see I don't know heaven blocker surprises last game maybe they build this game as well let's just wait and watch think again well the pool is fairly wide open they don't need a sub they well they don't need a support they could pick up some decent aoe they could pick up some laning that might work something to complement the leshrac all by himself missing stuns yeah that's not a nice sight i was just going to say sand king <laughs> yes so they picked up the sand king 
Uh, oh, I love Sand King's work in all those games, man. Uh, uh, his, his ability to control a lane and uh, definitely, you know, changing the routines of all the gangs. In, in, and in any ways, he's been an amazing support hero. He's been aggressive. He's been uh, oppressive. Um, all different kind of roles, variable roles Sand King is having. It's a very good choice right now for Think Again, which could actually be in favor of them. Uh, yeah, Sand King is a good pick. Uh, Think Again right now have got a reasonably well-rounded lineup. You think they need a tank, Robin? I think they need a tank. What would What would you think? What would they? What tank would? Uh, Chaos Knight. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I'm sure the captain is afraid to give Blaze a Chaos Knight once again because. Guy, that, that, that guy just made his BKB and he was just, ha ah, ha ha, I'm here. And he did nothing. <laughs> so, and Chaos Knight really, well, I don't see him fitting in into the lineup, but let's see. Heaven Block is really thinking what the fifth pick should be. Could it be a Pudge? Oh, Slardar. Dude. Th th this is, I don't know. Okay, Navi, if you're watching this, Heaven Blockers is reinventing the meta. Are you watching? Navi, hello, puppy, where are you? Dude, I'm telling you, this is for the Sand King. This is definitely from the Sand King. You think the Slider is for the Sand King? Yes. Okay, well, uh, uh, let's wait and watch. I don't know, maybe Heaven Blockers thought a step ahead and they didn't want to give off BH and they picked up Slider preemptively. We also saw that uh, last game one of the teams had a clear fear of Ricky Maru and they banned out Ricky Maru. I don't know which team it was, but they banned out Ricky Maru. So, yeah, maybe that's where the Slider pick stems from some fear of invisible heroes. Like I mentioned, you pick what you like, you ban what you're afraid of. Think again, have a last pick. They they should look for something. I don't know, are they going to run a mid solo? Obsidian Destroyer. Whoa! Some really huge surprises over here. I'm rather liking it, man. I'm rather liking it. <laughs> so, how, I'm really. Uh, it's, it's, it gets me thinking what kind of landing procedure is going to happen for now. Uh, so, uh, my guess the laning is going to be Obsidian Destroyer mid, Darkseer off lane and Juggernaut with the Leshrac and the Sand King in the tri lane. That would be the Radiant bot lane for them, I'm guessing, unless they run an offensive tri lane, which is very, very rare. Heaven Blockers, I have no clue because I don't think even they have a clue. They're going to put Enigma in the jungle, my guess. PUTM mid, Tide Hunter and Slardar together. Uh, I, don't I don't know. know. Let's just see, man. Let's let us just see. It's really hard to just tell about this time, but uh, this is absolutely amazing. Picks bottom, mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, somewhere in Goa, some Indian team is just changing the way the game is played, <laughs> or maybe not. Let's see. Dude, I'm I'm all set to be surprised again. There we have a pause. A game. Uh, all right, let's just introduce uh, the characters here. On Team TA, Yafitz is controlling the Obsidian Destroyer. Rasengan is controlling. Who is he controlling? Nothing yet. He's not controlling anyone, yeah, okay. Now, yeah. oh, let's we'll just wait for Team TA. Meanwhile, we introduce the HBZ. Uh, there goes Artos. Art of Pain is c controlling Tide Hunter. Soulfly goes for the Anti Mage. Scarface controls Enigma. Brackets, like Vivek just said in the last game, <laughs> controls Lada. <laughs> and uh, Mirana is now in control of Ryuk, FTW. Still, uh, the game is in pause phase. I really don't know what the reason is for the, po what the, the reason behind the pauses, but we are about to find out. Okay, picks totally made by Team HPZ and TA is still on, on the go. Why are they waiting? What's wrong? Anyways, still when they are waiting for it, okay, there we have something. Wishing you all the best in life. Great, great, great. Okay, TA Chocopai, we all miss you. I miss just Chocopai because I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, right down the lane in Kalangu, there's this awesome bakery called Infantaria, which is actually famous for its brownies. I'm going to go there for dinner. You guys can buy me dinner if you like my cast. Uh, discussion, it seems. Okay, and we are back. Of course we can wait. Smiley face. A lot of polite banter going on over here. Let's look who picks up what on TA. 
Yes, Zenit picks up the last track. Blaze, Blaze, who was last game's Chaos Knight on the Unero. Toro, ro, 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 who was last game Shadow Demon on the Darkseer, Rasengan on the Sand King, Yafit's fan on the Obsidian Destroyer. Yafit's fan seems to be the standard mid, mid solo hero. And straight off, that line is drawn towards where last game's first blood went. And are they going to make that same stupid smoke gank as last game? Let's hope not. Or oh, they are all blinking together. Let's Dude, try. they're definitely going for a smoke. There goes <laughs> the smoke goes again, and they're going looking for another gank. Meanwhile, uh, oh, oh, I'm so amazed to see this. Let's just 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 patient to see what's going on. They are all in for a kill. They just check out the rooms and nothing's there. Just scouting out for you. Oh, they're definitely going to bump in. They're definitely going to bump in. And who begins? A Malefis goes off straight. Slada falling off with a crush. Unero starts off his spin. Enigma going to die first. Please pick up Enigma. Enigma dies. And for a change, he is and it get the first blood here. Eon Shell coming out to too much. It is quite good physical damage. Oh, and Leshrak runs a stun and followed up by SK. SK moving out of there. Will he die? Will he survive? Oh, POTM picks up SK. But Slada still running away. And Unero just running in. Oh, and he would really wish that that stun landed. Did POTM manage to hit a stun in that fight? Because that's what we all like to see. Well, there was some mana used. I don't know if it hit. You can watch the replay for that. <laughs> Darks here scouts off a DD rune. Let's it go. Probably for Obsidian destroyer in mid lane so that Obsidian can pick up a few better last hits. So this smoke actually worked out for TA this time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they did get first blood. They did get first blood advantage. And uh, they aren't losing as much on the lanes as they did last time. Blaze is already set out to his farm. Uh, Slaughter on half HP and made Obsidian Destroyer should clearly own that lane and what is Darkseer doing? Why, why, why is he waiting? What is he waiting for? What can he do? And Neil Wild in bot lane, they're going on POTM. Does SK have the range to impale? He will now, he will shortly, he has it. He can go for it. He goes for it. Lestra can follow up with his stun. He follows up with the... Oh, how did he miss that? But anyways, Juggernaut picks up the kill. Oh my god. Ah, that was close. Hmm. All right, Team TA doesn't seem to be in mood of losing this time. They are all aggressive, just going about. That's the kind of action that we are actually looking at. A much, much faster paced, nice paced game happening right now. Uh, Anti-mage farming up well in the top lane, bottom lane, Lesh, Rack, Sand King are making Juggernaut farm all the, all the while he can. Let's, set, let's check out the farm on Juggernaut. He's doing well, uh, the lane is quite empty. So standard farming situations happening in the jungle, the junglers are doing their job. Couriers being called in. Are you even trying? All seems pretty quiet at this point of time. Yeah, well, uh, TA are trying to be anything but standard here. They've gone for the second smoke. SK and Leshrak have really made it their point to roam. They're quite confident that Juggernaut can pick up the farm by himself. They don't want Slada to take off at mid. Obsidian Destroyer makes a move in. Sand King is now in rage for an impale and he should get his impale. Please don't miss this on Leshrak. He doesn't miss it. This should be a kill. Let's hope Obsidian Destroyer... Oh, they let it go! Oh, thank God. And Slada picks up Leshrak. That was really... That was an unnecessary kill. I mean, HBC shouldn't have got that, but yeah, TA, I would be hitting myself. Anyway, Blaze picks up early soldering. He's heading towards a more pushing, pushing based build. He's killed his healing ward. Like I said, maybe some blind copying of the international meta as it is. Let's hope they do have some strategy. I mean, they do have a less track, so they can push, but let's see. But this time I do see some really calculated, well-organized efforts from uh, Team TA, uh, which was not actually seen in the previous games. But now TA definitely is uh, focused on getting some good farm as well as uh, maintaining their levels up in terms of kills as well. So Obsidian is in good position and uh, so is the Juggernaut. The game can do a pause again. What's the reason now? Okay, probably they heard about how awesome the brownies are in Infantaria and somebody wants to have one right now. And Sladar has disconnected from the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take this while to look at uh, the items they have just chosen. Yeah, Sladar uh, goes mid solo with a stout shield, which is well, okay, not enough regen maybe. I don't know, I would have liked some more regen if I was going mid. Unero picks up a soul ring, uh, quelling blade, typical standard, well, what the current Unero build is towards. POTM goes straight away for a permanent shield. I, I 
well, I don't know if she needed to buy a complete poor man shield, but yeah, well, whatever, she's gone with that. Anyways, and the game resumes, folks. Ja Darks here on the off lane, just doing his thing, he on shelling every little creep that comes. And uh, this is it, you know, when you have a tri lane, why, why do you let their off lane hero farm? Why are you letting him get away with that? You have a tide hunter, you have an enigma with a mage well you can maybe pick up a kill you can maybe i mean if you try early enough you can pick up the tax here has been killed. no vivek i'm so out of positioning and actually questioning the working methods of hbz i mean they have surprised me totally in the last game and it won't be another thing if they surprise me again i mean i'm seriously not questioning their actions there it's only the outcome of first a few battles that we see that's gonna, that's gonna make me talking about their work methods Okay, and for those of you who haven't noticed, that courier died. Huh. I didn't notice it either. I don't know when that happened. So, re these lanes are clearly failing for HPC. I don't know how a Slardar is going to outdo an Obsidian Destroyer in mid. And it's showing in his items. You can see he's building towards that early 4 stuff. He wants the ability to run away. Tide Hunter has somehow lost half his HP just neutraling. And this is not going to be a gang that would work. I don't know why he wasted that vacuum. He would have just run away ball by himself. Meanwhile, a gang going on on POTM. Sand King in pace. Lestrak does follow up with the stun. Yunero spins, but he has got that leap. He has got that leap. Why? Why is he hesitating? Is he looking to go into the river? He runs back into the jungle. There is a haste round in the river. POTM making the chase. Sand King. Well, Sand King trying to corner off. He picks up the haste round and he should hunt down that POTM and pick her off. Obsidian Destroyer meanwhile at mid lane not bothering. Sand King running after POTM just clicking away at POTM and uh, he's just right clicking away and ah, POTM runs by the breath of a life. Well that should have been the kill. Ah. Obsidian Destroyer, meanwhile, building towards a very, very early 4 staff. He should be happy with a 10 minute 4 staff. He's really spending all his mana and harassing a waste ladder. Uh, I don't know, is this, is this what they went with in mind that we'll pick Obsidian Destroyer and counter off Mage? I don't know. Let's see how that works. He's chosen to skill 1 level of Arcane Orb. 2 level of Astral Imprisonment and 2 level of Essence Aura. I don't know what the Essence Aura so early in the game does. I mean, who's going to be... It's, I, I really don't see the point in scaling Essence Aura, but yeah. Meanwhile. All right, standard farming continues all lanes. Not much action to be seen. Top, anti-mage goes against the Darkseer. The anti-mage may be a little, uh, being harassed by Darkseer. Darkseer is actually getting a good farm in the top lane. Yeah. Uh, well, Darkseer is pretty much doing as well as Anti-Mage and Anti-Mage last game had a broadsword or so by this time. This game he picks up a ring. Obviously, that's a small adjustment to all the iron shell damage that he had to take. But uh, let's see if he manages to farm as well as last game. So, this is HVZ strat. Just make Soulfly, Anti-Mage and farm away. Well, you guys know what to do if you're playing against them. <laughs> and there's a nice big big arc drawn over here SK and Lesh track moving since the start of the game only level 2 this is some nice old school roaming that we used to see in Dota most famously done by Puppy with that earth shaker of his long 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 ago Sladar meanwhile backs off with no vision picks up an early bo uh, not even an early bottle a 6 minute bottle I don't know what that's going to do for them Tide Hunter uh, and SK and Leshrak really, they really want to make the game work through them and through their roam ganking. And right now, let's take a look at the goal because I feel it's towards the Radiant. Yes, it's towards the Radiant. <coughs> EXP also a small difference towards the Radiant. This is not the start that HPC were hoping for. And right now, if TA keeps this up, if they keep the constant pressure, the constant ganks and the constant pushes for towers, they should have this game. That's that's pretty decent thing to talk about right now. We see a game pause happening again. Why are they pausing so many times? Is there some technical issues happening? All right. We like to thank uh, Lord Nord Productions for letting us casting this uh, match on this channel. That's awesome thing to do. 
game pause man disrupting gameplay like this and really kick kills the things off but we do have uh, tide hunter there in the picture with the gush and anger smash right there he's he's having a boots of speed two clarities and a ward okay there he goes there is the match resumes once again and uh, both lanes are farming as well all the lanes are doing well right now so we, we see good pings maybe a possible gang situation happening right now I don't think so. <coughs> well, I like this roaming strat, but if you're roaming and you're not getting an early tower, it's a waste. It is a complete waste. They they really need to just pick off the tower right now. And uh, HVC are sensing that an Enigma walks into the picture. First time out of the jungle, the same Enigma. Oh my god, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened, man? What just happened? I don't know, oh, but he pulls off a stun out of nowhere and a nice vacuum and an impale. He's running around in it. Oh, oh, oh my god, please, please. This is your kill, TA. You can't let this go. This was their kill. Anyways, HBZ just steps in all around for backup. Enigma dies. Andy Mace picks up the less rack with his ultimate. Now they're chasing down Sand King. Slada crushes someone. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Darkseer dies for the first time. So for one. Well, HPC really chose to give like all round backup, and this isn't really good because Obsidian Destroyer is farming away, and Antimate says, My bad. I don't know why he chose to type that in all chat. Maybe that was his bad. See, this. Well, I don't know if just leaving your mid lane for that Time moment of backup is the best thing that HPC could do. Oh, precisely, because Juggernaut continues to farm uh, unattended and, and, and so is the Obsidian Destroyer, which actually is going to create problems in the late game. You know, we see uh, this gank situation happening in the bottom when Slardar wanted to gank on the Obsidian Destroyer but aided by, uh, by Potom and Tide, but no, they decided to go in the bottom lane. They possibly trying to go for the Juggernaut now. We didn't also, did you, did you notice thing? There is very less use of smoke in this match, man. <laughs> they probably figured out and said, oh, waste, of, waste of time, waste of money, worth in it. <laughs> yeah, well, if it's badly done, it is a waste of time and money and EXP and all of that. But, uh, well, from what I know of TA, they're getting a nice little early advantage right now. And even with SK and Leshrak roaming, look at the EXP difference. How? HPC has one jungle hero, TA has two heroes who are roaming and severely under level. What is going on over here? It's not because of kills. I don't know, something is off right here. Anyways, mage still going towards his typical battle fury. Enigma there. Enigma just... Oh, he did Malefice him. Thank God. Oh, and there was a kill that we missed. Destroyer making a move right there on Slada. Slada being picked up. Meanwhile, in top lane, Darkseer turns around and he jumps onto Enigma. Can he pick off Enigma? That was some nice play. And he's fighting with Mage and Mage has to run off. Oh, this Darkseer is getting too much of a free hand in the top lane. And this is where Darkseer start to snowball. You give them a lane and you let them farm in their off lane. That is not a good sign, my friends. Uh, uh, meanwhile, a small little push being made for mint tower. They can easily go for it. Diabolic addict still unused. Come on, guys, just go for it. It's all yours. It's just a little, little tight under. Come on, easy. Oh, and a nice four staff over there. Sanking impale. Let's try follows up. Oh, why? How is he missing those stuns? How is he missing those stuns? You can't say I'm playing on delay. That is not an excuse. You're playing on. Well, not much delay. 100 ms is reasonable. It's absolutely reasonable. I mean, uh, they should have actually got a kill there, but you know. Uh, things went well for the Tide Hunter. He still chooses to stay there. Probably got to get, get some kind of support to them. They definitely know the heroes are gank. Uh, they are the setting up in the middle lane. So there we have two versus two. And Lucian doing all the wonders there. Darkseer continues to farm in the top lane. And so does Juggernaut. Well, Juggernaut just spawned uh, Mirana in the bottom lane. We just missed on that. I just say he's he's going he's getting some good farm unattended, but not only un unattended, he's just managed yeah, to have a kill as well, a solo kill. That's pretty amazing. <sighs> yes, and things don't look so good. In fact, things look very dire for the dire team right now. Pardon me for the bad joke, but seriously, things are. Huh, this is not where you want to be, and. Uh, what uh, what would you do if you were in their position? Because they have got the warding. 
as i said they lost out on levels so badly it start game and they just giving up the tower that try lane has failed mage has to move into the jungle and moving into the jungle as a mage without a complete battle fury at this time is not pleasant because trust me mage does struggle in the jungle mage and specters really horrible start game in the jungle i hate going in the jungle with them slardar as a mid solo has failed and uh, sorry hbc your great 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 picks are at the moment failing <laughs> maybe once again you can just prove me wrong and win this game i don't know how i don't think even you guys know how but yeah we'll watch we'll watch well i don't really think so it's going to be in favor of hbc at the scenes of it the gank is just picking up oh they just got uh, up on slada and there's a huge fight happening and they run in on darkseer darkseer surges away and oh my god mass confusion sand king does a nice impale i don't know if he appeared but a ravage came out over there there was a malefic on sand king whether he appeared or not one ravage for one sand king and slardar ends up dying ah slardar has been reduced to i don't know what a crystal maiden well tide has as much farm as him what what is the whole idea of sending slardar mid did i just see a sand king without an epicenter there on the level 6 Oh, sorry. He was not level six. Oh, it, level it, it it looked like an epi to me. It was Malefic and his tail going up and down. My bad. Yeah. No, no, you were right. It looked like to me. There you go. Mm -hmm. Another attempt. Uh, is it just? Uh, he, did he just mock the bottom? I think I think the option just mocked the bottom over there. <laughs> yeah. So well, once again, th three people grouped up in mid. they're probably trying to go for the potm uh just waiting for potm to make a mistake meanwhile dark here nicely farming away he has a 30 minute vanguard and soldering that's good farm for him and he'll be much relieved after <laughs> the previous horrible game of shadow demon blaze as juggernaut is just like farming away farming away farming away and uh, Well, TA have the early early advantage, and it's it's going to show that they can push early in to mid game and go for the game. Meanwhile, Darks here completely out of mana. Anti mage walking in slow motion to try and kill him didn't work. And now they make a move on Sladar. SK has the range. He impales. Come on, let's track. Don't miss a simple omni slash, and there TA blazes on a killing spree. I like these new little things. <laughs> Which patch did this come in? I'm I really haven't noticed. Was it the recent patch? Or no, was it, it the was the one, the one before. Oh, the Meepo patch. That's cute. Uh, so, well, TA doing the sensible thing, gathering up together, picking up a kill. They see. I don't get this. He just he just went with a very early healing ward, and then it didn't amount to anything. Why? He then chose to max his blade dance. There goes the tower. They follow up on Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter completely out of position, and he comes back into Juggernaut spin. What is this? Is there some horrible? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the picks are beyond logic, and sometimes even the gameplay. But that's HBZ man. Yeah, one of the names we can't even pronounce it. It's bracket bracket. Where's the guy? Where's Mr. Bracket? Ah, uh, ah, Mr. Bracket is a mid solo slader, who's max sprint and slithering crush, which is quite standard. He's sprinting in on Darks here, and you know both these heroes they won't be able to kill him. It might require all three, and if Darks here had mana, he would. Oh, he dies. He finally dies. Yes, and in our typical Mumbai slang, we would say "jada free ho gaya chutiye" or something like that. Oops, I'm not so allowed to say words like that on the cast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a moment in the game. We all get excited. I'm really sorry. You had to hear that. All right. Okay, Robin was just hitting me on the head for that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> bottom tower is under attack. Meanwhile, the game has gone back into standard slow motion farming. Juggernaut, he's picked up. He should have a battle fury in the next 4 minutes or so. And uh which is well almost a published build. They have taken down towers. Uh and uh, things are going well have you noticed this little silence thing that comes on juggernaut when he spins it came on his face over here i don't know a lot of small visual changes in the last patch that i have noticed 
Uh, San King picking up a 16 minute arcane after all the roaming nonsense. I mean, he can pick up a 16 minute arcane if he wants to. He chooses not to. Probably going for a direct blink. He has got his epicenter. He's level 6. He might not have enough mana to impale an epi. If Leshtrak just chips in with the arcane, he might. And there's a disconnect. And the game goes into pause. Many pauses this game. A lot of network issues, I'm guessing. Let's hope that they can sort this out so that the players can get on with the game and this seems poised to go into game 3 Robin. This is completely going into game 3. And uh, oh he's reconnected. I was just going to give you a small peek at the gold and EXP graph but we have no time. Juggernaut is back in the game. Obsidian destroy a building towards an orchid I would guess unless she makes something ridiculous like a refresher. No chance obviously. Let's hope not. Uh, and they go in, Sand King walks in, he's taken two stuns, <laughs> that was too fast, too easy and uh, I hope POTM is not jumping because that ridiculously easy arrow connected and yes, Leshtrak dies as well, come on, you two can't <laughs> that, 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 those were throwaway kills, they shouldn't have happened, Obsidian destroyed, making a run for his life using his 4 staff, running away oh my god, HPC just wants to tower dive, this arrow misses Obsidian ultis, throws herself in, where is backup? I oh and she dies a uh, gush picks her off Sand King TPs into mid and HBC smoke and they come out of smoke what the hell what the hell that's an impressive use of smoke right there but good gank by HBC right there they just pushed off and killed three heroes in time and that's actually comforting for their positions right now getting them an even killing stake on 9 on 9 so maybe this gives a morale boost of them as well Meanwhile, uh, Darkseer continues to farm in the jungles and that's actually a good thing for him. Uh, it's going to be a really, really good uh, asset in the late game. And what's the situation on Juggernaut? Let's check out the Juggernaut. Uh, the same old, same old. Battle Fury coming up in a while. Yeah. He, he could have had his Battle Fury a few minutes earlier. I don't know what happened. He died once or something. He could have had it a bit earlier. Enigma picks up a blink dagger much later on this game just a naked blink and a soul ring he's going to be very very weak and fragile in battles I don't know the last game we saw Enigma play it as somebody who just sat in the jungle got his BKB and then came in and TA don't seem to worry much about their Enigma they're, they're quite chilled out about their Enigma they don't mind POTM meanwhile with an 18 minute PT and a bottle this is not good and you see what HBC are doing. They've picked up three carries and none of the carries got decent lanes to farm in and now they've had to rotate. And a complete black hole goes on Dark This is my black hole man. One <laughs> Dark Seer and then still going away? If he runs from this man, I'm gonna... Alright. They killed him. I swear I would not have been casting again if this guy had run out from this kind of gang man. Seriously. And I actually thought he would do actually run away from that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well... Anyway, so they are slowly, slowly, bit by bit, HBZ are picking up the pieces, they are picking up the kills. They really need to give their heroes farming time because Sladar is way out of everything. A 25, bat, <laughs> 25 minute vanguard, in my opinion, makes little to no sense at all. But, well, I don't know. Uh, as of now, Team HBC also uh, a little more proactive on the warding bit. TA has slacked off after their initial leads and uh, they shouldn't have thrown away those two kills. Sand King and Leshtrak getting caught out there in an ugly position was really unnecessary. Meanwhile, TA pushes in for the tower, they impale Sladar, Leshtrak follows up, Unero is spinning away, Sladar crushes but <laughs> what's the point? Blaze is dominating, I drops his healing ward which well he maxed <laughs> at level 3 and chose not to max later on. Typical fail copy of meta game going on. Uh, yes, and uh, Tororo has made it his life mission to just sit in top lane and farm. And TA is just very content farming while, well, they can really start making pushes for towers. They have got two sets of towers. Come on, you guys can regroup. Go for one more tower. You have a healing ward. That's why you take it to push. And yes, is that what they're doing? You narrow TP is mid. He's got 20 seconds cooldown. Uh, Leshtrak and Sand King moving into mid. There is an observer spotting them. HPC should start regrouping at mid. Enigma, has he got his black hole? Has it cooled down yet? No, 80 seconds to go. They, they have no black hole. Let's hope TA knows this. They can bravely push in. 
Tight end that does have ravage. He is walking in from far, far away. Is that going to be enough? Let's see. There is a DD rune. Are they waiting for someone to pick up the DD rune? See, this is when Darkseer just needs to come in these team fights and you know instead of instead of coming mid he chooses to go top and farm away and this is so they they could have pushed from mid tower they could they definitely could have you know they should have actually taken it out but why did they decide to go top man they just uh, i i don't know maybe they wanted mage first and then dude top i'm tower. telling you da is chilled out man they are chilled out and they're actually chilled out they're taking it slightly and they should be taking it a little more seriously here yes yes you were right they are taking it lightly and they might have the well, what looks like a lead at the moment, but uh, it's not that clear a lead, my friends. Don't chill. Go for it. Just go for the tower. I And they have pure TM as user in me. Tide is just walking in. That was a beautiful ravage. Enigma doesn't have a black hole. A nice pure TM arrow. And Omni slash follows. And Unaro spinning away. Slardar also dies. Two kills there. Oh, that was beautiful. A beautiful wall. A beautiful vacuum. And a nice impale to follow that up. Bit late on the wall though, he could have hit it earlier, mage nowhere in the picture, where is our dear anti-mage, oh there he is farming, well that's what you have to do, I mean you have to just go farm away and he, this this time last game at 22 minutes, he had a battle fury and a vlads and he were almost like getting towards his manta and uh, now he has a battle fury and 2.7k so <laughs> It's not as good it's as not last a, game. Definitely, it's not as good as the last game and uh, there's very less coordination. Uh, and this kind of ga gank happening in the top lanes, all of these should, all the guys should be there. I mean, they may, they may be start carrying TPs at this point of time, you know, to start helping when the things go wrong. <coughs> yeah, Mage, Mage did have a TP, he chose not to come in. Oh, and that, I, I don't know if you noticed that, but Darkseer was hanging around in really low HP. <laughs> Mage came back in, picked up the kill and Mage continues to farm. Meanwhile, that doesn't really matter, TA can easily pick up mid tower. Obsidian forcing himself ahead, puts one in whatever that astral imprisonment and beautiful ulti, splits the team in two and Yunero picks off the straggling tide hunter, Enigma comes in with a Malefice, no position for the black hole, blinks out of there, Slardar running away in haste, nothing much he can do, what the hell does a mid solo Slardar do? And Sand King just picked up a blink dagger and the entire roaming strat has really paid off, a 22 minute blink, I mean he might not have the mana to blink happy. But uh, it's worked for them. I don't know where he's picked up his farm. Of course, uh, Leshrak has relatively suffered. He does have 2.8k gold. He has been warding all the way. He can pick up, uh, I don't know, he can pick up drums. He can maybe try and get a 35 minute bloodstone. I don't know if that's the item you need to make an impact as a Leshrak right now. Uh, even a blink might work. I don't know, some people like a blink for some good positioning. A pipe maybe? A pipe, definitely. Mm -hmm. It depends if you want to go all offensive and mad and you're confident enough to blink in and stun and pick up nice kills. Yeah, you can you can pick up a blink or else you can just pick up a pipe and you know, I, I think the team would really benefit with a pipe. It would really nerf out Tidehunter and uh, whatever little AOE that HBZ has. No, that's the whole idea. And you've got a healing from that ward happening already over there. Yeah. And if you get a pipe, oh, do we see a use of smoke right there, a bit potential gag. Oh, the this has been this game's favorite item. There's been some nonsense smoking up going on. So, oh, and they smoke and they go for Roshan. Can they do it? They have a Vlad. They do have a Vlad. That was a little nice play for them. They yeah. will get this Roshan. Uh, but who's gonna take it? I don't know. I'm guessing Mage or Sladar. Let's. Mage is supposed to be the one who's gonna take it. Yeah, but this is this is nice play by HBC. This is a small little advantage that they're turning towards that way, and that hundred, the hundred whatever gold or smoke, completely justified in this move. DA completely clueless. I mean, oh, oh do wait, we, do somebody picks that up. Somebody picks that up. Leshrak and Obsidian destroy water aware. Obsidian destroy just walks in. All of HBC. The HBC in me a big ravage, a big black hole. His epicenter got cancelled, and HBC are turning the fight. You never was spinning around. He can do one nice Omni Slash and pick up two kills. Oh, and Enigma dies to Sand King's Impale. Manti Mage just manages to blink off. There is a pipe already. Sladar on really low HP. Another nice Impale. He picks off Sladar in that Impale and he manages to Impale POTM. POTM trying to run away from Darkseer, but Darkseer is just too much. And Anti Mage comes into the battle. This is what it is. A carry coming in when he really shouldn't, when he can't run away. But I think he's going to regret that. Oh, he picks off Sladar. And that was a ridiculously small blink. Does Darkseer have mana? No, Darkseer has no mana. Why is he running away? His iron shell is still on. It still has enough cooldown over here. He can go hand to hand and maybe pick off mage. Uh, oh, he you runs into the arrow. He runs into the arrow. Oh, and right. SVC.
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Invisibility! Okay, sorry folks, I just muted the mic by mistake. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if you heard all my screaming for the past few minutes or not, but I was just screaming my head out. Meanwhile, there's a stun over here. Sand King impales. Oh, there's the Obsidian ulti we were talking about. Slada running, running, running away on low life. Oh my god, why? Oh, that was an Orchid a bit too late. Why didn't the Orchid earlier? Why, 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 why? why? Meanwhile, Enigma still alive. Oh, Lestrak has been put on surge. Lestrak just running in on surge on Diabolikitic. And... Ah, uh, Sand King blinks in. Can he get tied under? He's, oh, he goes into Sandstorm. Meanwhile, Slardar picks up the left track, coming in from behind. Mm -hmm. Sand King really, really out of position. No one from Team DA there. He can impale to the high ground. He does that. Oh, a pure DM arrow just when you need it. And Sand King is getting a really... Anyways, Obsidian Destroy comes in and he picks up Slardar. Now he's really out of position. He's silenced. There's nothing much he can do. Now comes the pipe. A bit too late. TA really not coming in together. And HBZ are just there. They're dead to follow up on anything. Let's hope Darkseer gets out of this alive. He really should get out of this alive. And he's fighting against Tidehunter. He's really going on Tidehunter. He drops his wall. Once again, a bit too late. His illusion not doing much. Tidehunter just always oh, is that? I don't want to wait. Oh, no. Oh, those were. My god, I can really see why they're picking POT. Maybe, maybe it almost maybe works for them. Dude, HBZ continues to surprise me every step of the game. I did not expect that at all. Param coming with all the arrows all of a sudden, man. So precise, so intense. Amazing. This is amazing, man. Yeah, hey, team HBZ, I want t-shirts, man. I want to support you guys. Seriously. These guys are like, I don't know, they pick all these nutcase, nutcase, unworkable lineups. Dude, check it out, man. Tide, and Time Age, Enigma, Sladar, Bottom. What are you talking about, Bottom, man? And TA on the other end, you know, picking, oh, we've got Synergy, we've got the meta. <laughs> and it's, I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, TA as a team is just failing to execute the lineup. That's what I it comes know. down to. It's totally completely out of, of, of topic, you know, but it reminds me of Lightning McQueen. Why does it remind you of Lightning McQueen? I, I don't know. Who's, oh, <laughs> you don't know Lightning no, McQueen. No, 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 no. For, do, for those of us who don't know, please. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a pixel animation character, and then it's, it's a car, basically, and tries to do stuff all the way differently. You know, so that's probably the idea of HBZ right now. Yeah, so... Doing uh, things differently. HBZ, you've been watching too many Disney films. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Once again, uh, TA finally wake up, some little basic warding going on. Oh, this has been around for a long time actually. But yeah, TA, stop slacking like this, man. You, you, uh, I, you know, they're not bad players. I mean, they're not great either individually. But this is a game that they can win. And, and uh, well, from the few games I played with TA, they have one guy who farms into really late game and this seems to be their Unero who's already got an MKB and he's building towards his Aghanim Scepter and they're just going to make the game so late that no matter what their late game hero just beats the shit out of your late game hero. That's what I've seen them do a few times. I don't know if that's what they have in mind. Maybe if, if that's what they have in mind, why why roam with an SK and a Lesh rack, man? Just babysit your farmer. Top I don't know. I was just uh, waiting for some you know, good gank outputs at this point of time. You Radiant's see a loss of tower top there in top lane. Uh, why are they allowing this? A uh, smoke use again? Is this trying for a kill? No, all they find going to find is yeah, a tower there. 
this oh they smoked up in front of a ward. So they're going for the tower. The, the bottom tower. Is Once again they smoked and they went for a tower. I really don't. And they smoked next to a ward on big secret. And tied under just walks in oh, and he hits a ravage. But what was the use of that? And there's an omni slash. Omni slash hitting on anti mage. Obsidian destroyed ulties. Obsidian destroyed being bounced upon. And what an FU! What a black hole! But the pipe wins the battle. And that's what I told you. It's going to boil down to the EPs. The EPs are going to make the game. And TA should win this game. They can just push in. Leave that POTM. Go for the tower. And that's what Yafitz is doing. That's what Blaze is doing. They have the healing ward. They have two creeps. That's more than enough. They pick off the POTM. Really doesn't depend. Was there a buyback out there for his Seven Kings? I mean by anti mage. Is there an anti mage buyback? No, no, no. Oh, he survived, I guess. He survived, yes. Yeah, he survived. Okay, there goes the bottom. There goes the bottom black. I don't know. Is HVC going to call GG? I mean, it isn't GG, but... Well, they have the creep wave, they can go on and backdoor mid. Reasonably good time. Come on, Team TA, you can do it. They won one good. Oh, you know, the very defensive teleports over there. Very. And he almost got caught. Where did they go? They just TP'd out to farm. Anyway, so they're playing this all Chinese. We'll take one tower, we'll take one racks. We will farm, we will regroup, we will farm again, we will take ages, then we will go for the second tower. By ages, you mean ages? Ages. Long time ages. Long time ages. Alright. <laughs> Shadows take us. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Sorry, I muted the mic once again. Sorry, folks. Okay, that was the time when HBZ were actually winning some battles we just witnessed a, long, a little time before. Okay, we see your top lane push right now happening. All the heroes are assembled on top. Who's, who's, who's lacking? Who's the blue one? All right, Obsidian and Destroyer forming up positions there. They're definitely going in for the jungle uh, ganks right here. They're pinging it for an, 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 a simulation here. Nice arrow. The arrow missed? Uh, arrow missed? The arrow just missed. Just, just died out of range. Anyway, so all five Radiant and Dire in the respective jungle. Some dewarding going on. Darkseer. Where is Darkseer? Why is he not making a move ahead? He's a little passive, this Darkseer. I mean, he got a beautiful free farm lane and he, he, can, be, he can have a much bigger impact in battles. I don't know. He is kicking off the pipe at right times. But he can do so much more. Anyways, SK being there in position, being in the right position, Juggernaut just walking in. Let's hope he drops the ward and let's hope the ward doesn't get taken out. That's going to be crucial. Oh, and P What? Did you guys see that? Because that was horrible. POTM just hit in me in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So maybe that was just to scare them off? Yeah, maybe it was to scare them off so that they can push out bot lane. Maybe that's it. Anyways, they should have taken care of this bot wave because the bot wave is really gaining some momentum. And HBZ are at the moment, well, kind of split between here and there. Alright, get ready for the action. Mirana just picks up her manta. The wall, the wall is dropped. Let's see. Oh, and Mage just jumps in there on Darkseer. Mage has a BKB. Enigma jumps in. A big, beautiful black hole. A beautiful rabbit. Amazing. 
They got it on paper, but where is San King? San King is just channeling his happy right there. He blinks in, he goes on to POTM and he goes on to Tide Hunter. A late move by San King. And there they get their racks and HBC rightly call out GG over there. Very, very well played by both teams. HBC almost managed to come back out of nowhere. This was an amazing reversal by Team TA as compared to the earlier game. Beautiful coordination, excellent teamwork. We see TA doing great actions in this game. Uh, bottom lane going mega, top lane going mega, this is definitely a win. Yeah. GG being called already. Good good matchup. Thank you guys for watching us. Uh, and it seems that yeah, Fitz wants a break. We want a break as well. I'm sure maybe you want a break as well. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants a break. Go have one. And uh, once again, we are here and we're streaming this live on Lord Nod's Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash Lord Nod. A big thank you to Lord Nord Production for letting us cast on his channel. My name is Vivek, Venkat Raman, Vivek, whatever you call me. I'm here with my wonderful co-caster Robin, also goes by the name Punjab Police. And uh, that's it. Robin, any closing statements? Uh, we do have an announcement to make here. Um, here it is. Uh, yeah, the winners of the Gunner Drive Contest for the 8 to 9 slot are first Tilak. Sorry, Tilak uh, Gauda with a lap time of 1 minute 37 seconds. Uh, the second place goes to Vinayak R, lap timing of 1 minute 41 seconds. And third place is Amit Pasi with a lap timing of 1 minute 42 seconds. Winners, please go down to the gunner, gunner section uh, near the gaming area. Uh, and if you think you can beat their timing, please feel free to go ahead. There's a contest every hour. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we just witnessed TA versus HBZ. TA give the reversal of third game in going for it. Yes, we're going to game three uh, for a small five minute break. Thank you, folks.